JBN will keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones. Hi guys. Before we get into the news, please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and to share the news with someone today. Now on to the news. Man disarms robber, turns over gun to police. An illegal gun is in the custody of police. After man reportedly disarmed this would-be robber on Thursday. According to the police, about 9.05 p.m. along Spanish Town Road, St. Catherine, two armed men attempted to rob a man of his personal belongings. A tussle reportedly ensued between the man and one of the gunmen, during which he reportedly disarmed the gunman of a 9mm pistol with an attached magazine containing eight 9mm cartridges before the gunman escaped into the area. A report was later made to the police and the gun and ammunition were turned over to them. Investigations continue. Excelsior Community College, probing alleged $9 million fraud. Excelsior Community College says it is investigating an allegation of missing funds and has placed the senior administrator on administrative leave pending the outcome of the probe. The tertiary institution made the revelation in a news release from Principal Fillmore McCarthy on Thursday. It did not name the individual sent on leave, nor did it give the value of the alleged fraud. However, the release said that the most senior assistant bursa was asked to assume some of the responsibilities during the interim, supported by the chief financial officer, in accordance with the established protocols to ensure continuity of the college's business. A source said that the amount of funds allegedly missing is $9 million. In its news release on the matter, the college said that it is committed to transparency and accountability in all its operations. It also said it is committed to ensuring that all concerns are thoroughly investigated and appropriate actions are taken based on the findings of the investigation. It also said it will provide updates on the investigation as they become available. Ten-year-old boy found dead in pond in Trelawney. The body of a ten-year-old boy was discovered in a pond on Holland Estate in Trelawney on Thursday. He has been identified as Alcade Palmer of Sandy Martha Bray. He was a grade 5 student at Granville Primary School. An investigating officer attached to the Trelawney police said that Palmer was reported missing at 8 a.m. Thursday. A search team was dispatched to the area. Palmer's body was discovered in the pond about 10 a.m. Investigations will continue into the circumstances surrounding his death. The child's father, Basil Palmer, described him as a quiet boy who gives no trouble. Just that before I sent a permission slip for him to participate in some festival activities, I don't know what to say. Me just shocked, said Basil. Butcher's second murder victim within 24 hours in Linstead. The Linstead police are probing their second murder in less than 24 hours after a man was shot dead in the rural town Thursday morning. The deceased, identified as Uriah Bailey, a butcher from Victoria District, was shot dead at a slaughterhouse house where he worked on Ford Street in Linstead, St. Catherine. Reports of that around 11.50 a.m., Bailey and two other men were at Marcus Sauter House where they were preparing soup for sale at the nearby bus park. During that time, a man entered the yard and opened gun for Bailey, hitting him in the head and upper body. As a result of this, the police were summoned. On arrival, police saw Bailey's body lying on his right side, clad in a black and white t-shirt, black shorts, and a pair of black zippers, with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the head and upper section. Residents say that they believe both shooting incidents were related, pointing out that Thursday morning's murder was a reprisal for Wednesday night's killing. Efforts to get confirmation of the residents' claim from the police have so far proven futile. On Wednesday night, one man was shot dead while another injured during an attack at a bottom Banbury in Linstead, St. Catherine. The deceased has been identified as Recall Hunter, a resident of said community. Reports received indicate that around 7 p.m., both men were standing at Hunter's gate when several gunshots were fired from bushes nearby. Hunter, the police said, was hit in the right side of the neck, chest and legs, while the other man received gunshot injuries to both legs. A police patrol arrived on the scene and assisted them into hospital, where Hunter was pronounced dead on arrival. The injured man was admitted in stable condition. Pedestrian mowed down on South Coast Highway. A pedestrian has died as a result of injuries he sustained after he was reportedly mowed down by a truck traveling along the South Coast Highway in St. Thomas on Thursday. The deceased has been identified as 54-year-old Donovan O'Mealy of Grand Spend District in the parish. Police reports indicate that around 7.45 p.m., O'Mealy was walking along the roadway when he was reportedly hit by a Mitsubishi L200 motor truck that was traveling along a section of the South Coast Highway towards Kingston. He received multiple injuries 
and was transported to the hospital where he was confirmed dead. Men killed by a trailer truck in Westmoreland identified the two men who were run over by a trailer truck after the motorcycle they were traveling on collided with a car along the cave main road in Westmoreland yesterday have been identified by the police. They are 28-year-old Calvin Palmer of Causeway District in Grangeville and 30-year-old Adrian Tomlinson of Top Lincoln, also in Grangeville in the parish. Preliminary reports from the police saw that the accident took place about 12.20 p.m. According to the police, the truck was driving easily from South Lamar towards White House, while the motorcycle, which was being driven by Palmer, was driving in the opposite direction. On reaching a section of the roadway, the driver of a Honda motor car, which was driving in front of the motorcycle, allegedly attempted to overtake the vehicle in front of it, and upon seeing the truck approaching, the driver of the Honda pulled back into the line of traffic, which caused the motorcycle, traveling closely behind it, to collide into it. Palmer and his pillion fell from the motorcycle and landed in the path of the truck, which ran over them. They died on the spot. Jamaica's birth rate continues dramatic fall as population ages. Jamaica continues to face a low birth rate problem, with the total number of live births in the country declining sharply over the last 20 years. In 2021, there were 31,276 live births, compared to 40,508 in 2010 and 56,134 in 2000. The information is contained in the Jamaica Population Health Centre Support 2000 to 2022, which was stabled in the Parliament this week. Overall, Jamaica's crude birth rate, which is the number of annual live births per 1,000 population, declined by 10.2 percentage points from 21.7 per 1,000 population in 2000 to 11.4 per 1,000 population in 2022. Meanwhile, in 2022, some 21,390 deaths were recorded in Jamaica. The highest number, 26,974 deaths between 2000 and 2022, was recorded in 2021. Notably, this was at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, although it has not been stated whether the excess deaths were due to the pandemic. In 2021, the crude death rate showed approximately 9.9 deaths occurring in every 1,000 persons in the population. However, this decreased to 7.8 deaths per 1,000 population in 2022. In the meantime, the health status support also alerted the country's dependency ratio, which in 2019 was 48.1 per 100 working age population. This shows a decline from 72.7 per 100 working age population in 2003. The dependency ratio can be disaggregated into child dependency ratio and elderly dependency ratio. Child dependency ratio is the number of children 0 to 14 years of age per 100 working age population 15 to 64 years. And the elderly dependency ratio is the number of persons over 65 years per 100 working age population. A low dependency ratio is desirable as it indicates that there are more working age adults in the labor force who can support the young and elderly. The population by age shows that in 2019, there were 578,730 Jamaicans under the age of 15, compared to 261,750 Jamaicans of the age of 65. However, between 2000 and 2019, the child population decreased by 31.7%, while the elderly population grew by 32.6%. JBN will keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.